our last unit is unit 10 in this course i trust you've enjoyed the course and it's really helped you to become better as a translator and that you will now have to get start practicing there's nothing more than nothing better to become a really good translator than practice and more practice so um in unit 10 we're talking about planning and organizing a bible translation project and writing a translation brief i think if you can remember nothing else about this introductory video it is get buy-in make sure that the church in the community is involved in your translation project make sure that you have a good understanding between the church that reviewers are carefully chosen that all denominations are included that you've uh, selected the right dialect that everybody's happy with the language choice that the way you're going to be writing the translation also the style of translation is it going to be a more literal or a meaningful translation make sure that that is all very clear right from the beginning and most publishers these days will not publish if it's a literal translation so um, make that also clear to your uh, church community that we are going to go for a meaningful translation that accurately conveys the meaning of the original languages um, we need to also make sure that the donors are on board um, who is going to be funding the project and the final and most important aspect is who's going to publish it and in what format is it going to be a written translation an audio translation um, or both so getting all the partners on board and writing up a good translation brief is important that's signed and agreed upon so that when you are halfway through the project people don't say oh no but we didn't agree that so get a good agreement if you're working with the different organizations get a memorandum of understanding signed and agreed so that you can really have a well-run project and get a good committee to help you in your running of your project um, could it be part of a cluster maybe you're one of many languages involved um, being organized by a particular bible translation organization so um, the translation brief is very important and barnwell does discuss in detail all that is required in that brief uh, just to make sure that everybody's on the same page and that your project is going to get off to a very good and sound start so also remember there has to be a team and it's all about being a good team player to be a translator and to be part of a wonderful transformation that's going to take place in the community so the, the the translation should be used from the start should be made available to the church so that they can um, check the translation and then also use it in church services etc so let's um, trust god that your translation will be owned by the community and that it will be well accepted and used to change many people's lives god bless you